Hey, it's Dagny, and welcome to another day in my life. Yes, let's do a vlog. So I have an errand to run today, and I haven't been outside for a while, so I figured why not be extra and take the camera with me. So let's see how this goes, because it'll be my first time using like the full camera for this. Yeah, okay, so. Uh, and I'll be taking my sister's car this time, because uh, one, I don't feel like uncovering my car as as you can see also because it's still like rainy tropical storm type looking way i figured it'd be better to take her car because it's a little higher uh, so i don't have to swim back home yes and the fit for today you know i'm giving you you know you know i'm you you know i just be you know giving you giving you confused that's that's it yeah all right Lego. Wait, let me turn this down. Hold on. They didn't have what I was looking for. I came all the way outside. And they didn't have it. That's so annoying. I'm looking for a particular soap for my face. And I was hoping the store had it so I wouldn't have to like order it because everything's taking forever to ship. But... Whatever. Anyways, I did get some ingredients because we're going to do some baking today. So, yeah. Time to go back home. And we're back, hey. So, like I was saying in the car, the main thing I was looking for, they did not have. Which is always like annoying, because it's like, then why did I leave the house? So anyway, I was looking for, there's a certain thing I use on my face, which is this, which is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Skin Therapy Cleansing Oil for your face. And as you can see, it is finished. And I was hoping to find it in the store as opposed to ordering it, but it wasn't there. It wasn't there, even the last time it was, so. I actually had already, there was another product I wanna try on my face, which I'm still waiting for, because this product I've been using now for like three years or so, and it's worked really well, really well for my face, because usually my face is actually quite oily and it was helped to like balance it. Like I still have that natural dewy look, but it wasn't as bad as oily and then I've noticed for the past like four months now my skin is quite dry and I don't understand why so it's like oh maybe I need to switch up the product maybe it's not okay anymore I got some pads so I finally got the honeypot pads if you've heard of them black owned business who totally like went sold out on target when uh, some certain people were being you know useless so finally got a hold of them so I'm excited to try them out um, and I just got every kind of every size that they make. So yeah, but due to the amount that's in there and I'm like, I can't be going to the store. I don't like being going to the store all day every day. So I got the other type that I usually use, which is this one. 
which is also chlorine free, pesticide free, synthetic free, dye free, fragrance free. All of both are cotton pads. So if you have not utilized cotton pads before, ladies, I highly suggest you do. So instead, the other thing that I have been using is the Palmer's Coconut Sugar Facial Scrub. This also, my face does like it. Um, of course, I don't use it like every day, but I do take no notice of my skin when I use it and likes it. And then I also use the Black Girl Sunscreen on my face and my body, uh, which I like a lot too. It doesn't give me that weird shadow, ashy shadow, purple shadow. Um, and it's also all natural products, so it's fine that it seeps into your skin. Now it's time to go bake. Hey, welcome to my mama's kitchen. So we're gonna be baking today. I'm gonna to try and make cookies. I'm going to make oatmeal, chocolate chip, coconut cookies, because that's the ingredients I have. Yeah. So, I got the recipe off of Pinterest. This is my first time trying it out. So we got our, we got all our tools here. Yes. So let's see, let's see how it comes out.
I have the cookie. It is complete. This is what, this is how it came out. Ha ha, there we go, now we're in focus. I will learn how to make it. <laughs> go ahead, open the door. <laughs> My brother needs to open the door super slow. Dantes needs to open the door super slow. So we all know he's in the kitchen. You sure you don't want to come on the camera and let, let him know about the cookie? That's a cookie? Yeah. <laughs> um, it's a, it's a cookie. That's all. <laughs> Anyways, he liked it. So he ate, he ate a whole cookie which means we're good. We did it, we did it, I think we did it right. So this is, this is how it came out, yes. I will learn how to make them look like circles next time. I like it. It's crunchy on the outside. Soft on the inside. And it's an oatmeal chocolate chip coconut cookie. So it's sweet, but not in a sugary sense. I can taste the hint of cinnamon. Of course, you have a chocolate chip. It's nice. Now, the biggest part, I need to not eat all of them so that there'll be some for the rest of the family to try when they come home. We have a lot of dragonflies outside. Maybe the storm brought them, I don't know. Mm. All right, I'm gonna clean up and then we move on for the rest of our day. Well, hey, this is the book I'm reading right now. It's The Inheritance Trilogy, The Inheritance Trilogy by N.K. Jemisin. It's, it's a very small book, as you can see. <laughs> Such an enjoyable story, like I'm really enjoying it. Anyways, let's chat, shall we? I'm, let me turn this chair a little bit, hold on. <laughs> now I feel like Mr. Rogers. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, I'm okay. Uh, just flowing through the ups and downs, you know? Like one week will be like, I'm solid. Like, oh, I'm good. I feel productive. Uh, I'm okay, you know? And then another week and it's like, I feel like, why am I bothering? It's just, uh, I think part of that feeling stuck is also like location for those of us who either were straddling different locations for your life, having to then sit in one when you weren't planning to, but there really isn't anything holding you to another one. It, it's, it's a little nerve wracking, but I'm sure we'll all work out as it's supposed to in the end, you know? In terms of what I've watched recently that stood out in my mind, I watched this movie, both of these, okay, both that I'm, that I'm gonna to refer to on Netflix. One, watch this movie called Witch or Witcher. It was a Korean movie and it was, it was, it was strange. It, it made me scream a few times and I'm not big on, <sighs> hmm. I'm not big on scary movies. I don't mind, I don't mind like suspense, action, mystery. You know, we can have some fighting, you know, but when it turns into like creepy, bloody type stuff, I'm like, no, no. It was an interesting concept. Uh, there actually was no magic involved, even though the title is called Witch or The Witch, some, The Witches, something like that. But it's, it's uh, it kind of reminded me of like X-Men slash Matrix slash whatever, but horror type set feel because it, it was a deal of, of usual, 
these group of scientists get these children. Who knows where these children came from? Like it, and then it took a turn and I was like, I have no idea what I'm watching anymore, but I'll finish it. So it, you definitely weren't expecting what occurred. So that was one that I watched. And then the other movie I watched, I saw The Old Guard and I thought it was pretty cool actually. So that was action as well. I did not look up what it was about before watching it. So when it started, I thought, oh, okay, you know, typical mercenary movie. And then it took this turn and I was like, wait, what? Well, I don't know what we're doing anymore. So it, and it just took a turn to very interesting concept of like immortality and warriors being chosen and this like, you know, making history without realizing it. It was neat. It was really neat. I was like, oh, that's so cool. And I like the ending as well. So I'm expecting a sequel. Music wise, recently, so Soti Soul, which is a Kenyan Afro pop group, their most recent album, which I think it's called like Midnight Highway or something like that. I like it. It's really cool. I also recently got Chloe and Halle's new album, which I also really liked. I do need to get some work done, but I don't feel like sitting on a desk. So, okay, so in terms of what I'm working on, I recently started uh, writing and working with the team. Uh, that is behind the platform Africans on China, which they are a media platform as well as like consultancy firm. Hold on, let me bring you a little closer. What was I talking about? Okay, let me tell you what I'm working on. All right, so um, recently started working with the team behind uh, Africans on China, which is a media platform and consultancy firm dealing with the relations between the African continent and China. The topic like China and its relations with the continent of Africa tends to be filled with information that's based off of politics and foreign policy and corporate dynamics uh, that tend to primarily be spoken to and spoken about old people. No offense to old people, but it's like, you know, signing contracts that are supposed to be for a hundred years to last for a hundred years when the person signing it is like 83 years old. It's like, it would be cool if you had other demographics, at least having their voices in the conversation as well. So that's what this platform is trying to, or is building up to fill in terms of not only speaking to news uh, that is primarily like corporate or development based, but also speaking to lifestyle and culture and history and the connections and different things that one can learn from the two different, the spectrum of different cultures between these two places. So right now the website and like the whole content aspect of it has been up for a few weeks now. And this week, or at least by the time this video goes up uh, this week. I have a, an article about TikTok, which as you may know, is a Chinese app. But did you also know that they have been making some strategic moves to empower African creators and black creators? Like they've been signing African comedians, dancers, and singers who are based on the continent to produce content on the app and actually get paid for it. They're even hiring local local talent managers on the continent for that same purses, for branding and campaigning and things like that. So stuff like that is what I, that's the angle, at least in terms of the sort of articles and stuff like that, that I write with them. Last week's I did an article about like how black music is influencing, how black music is influencing China's music industry, um, how black fashion is, promoted or welcomed in China, including a rise of demand for black models in China uh, as well. So it's a, it's a back and forth type of thing, looking at life, basically any aspect of lifestyle, whether it be tech, um, leisure or culture and things like that. In the blog post for this video, I will link more details on it so you can check it out and read up on 
the types of information we're putting out and also share with people you think would be interested. Right now we're building content, right? So seeking people who actually are interested in this topic is our main priority. So if there's something you'd be interested in, something you would like to hear me share more about or speak more about or direct you in that arena, let me know. And then after that, that's kind of my day. Yeah. And then I'll probably read some more of my book later this evening and finish the cookies if no one else does. Make sure to go to my website, dagsinovia.com, where I will share or reference any of the things I mentioned throughout the day, whether it be the ingredients I used or the music and stuff I've been listening to or also the platform I was speaking of. So, okay, question for y'all. Comment below and share with me what recipe you recently have experimented with or gotten better at. And put me on some new music. I'm looking for new music, open to all genres. Uh, so if there's an album or an artist you think I would enjoy, share with me, share with me below as well. Hope y'all, hope y'all enjoyed the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Be safe. I'll see you next time.